Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to share the products that I've finished in the past three months. So I have a huge thala full of all the empty empty bottles. So I thought, you know, let's just get over with it and just do a quick review and you know experience video on all the products that I've finished in the past three months. There are a lot of products to go through. So let's start the video. So this is the thala that has all the products. I don't know, something has leaked inside. So the first product is this. This is Love Beauty and Planet Apple Cider Vinegar and White Jasmine Shampoo. Uh, this is a sulfate free shampoo. This is a huge bottle. It was I think 400 ml and it lasted me a really long time. This is this has natural apple cider vinegar, 100% coconut oil, cruelty free, vegan, plant based skin cleansers and all that. So this is like a really really good uh, formula. I am right now using another um, product from this range like from this brand another uh, hair care product like a shampoo i just don't remember the name uh, this i really like it is very very gentle very good if you have dry hair it also adds shine so i personally really enjoyed it and uh, i was able to finish it like it took me almost three months to finish it because i have short hair and i don't really need too much product but i will highly recommend you guys to check this out if you are interested in sulfate free and gentle shampoos this is a really good buy and you are getting 400 ml for how much 600 rupees and you can always grab these on discount from Nika. so i think this is a very good product i would highly recommend you guys to check this out now the next product is this pro age body lotion from dove i have used it up i don't know where the cap the pump is missing i don't know what happened to it <laughs> the pump is missing from here so i used it up i'm so surprised this is a huge bottle and I really, really, really liked it. I used it during peak winters. This has um, AHAs, which means this is going to exfoliate your skin. And uh, when your skin is exfoliated, like the upper layer is exfoliated, uh, the other products penetrate deeper, which is something I think we all know. This is specially formulated for mature skin. So if you are 35 plus, if you have 40 plus, 45 plus, you should give this a shot. Very, very good product. Uh, it is not very thick. It has a very nice consistency. You can use it all year round. Um, this range also has a body butter, uh, which is a thicker formula. But I will recommend you guys to check this one out because this has uh, AHAs, olive oil and vitamin B3. I personally really enjoyed it. It smells so good. I've used it up. I really, really, really loved it. I cannot open it. Oh, I think we cannot open it because it looks like it's sealed or something. But it was like the fragrance was also very nice. So yes, definitely I'm going to buy it once I'm done with the products I'm using. Uh, right now I'm using this thing from Avino. This is Avino Dermexa body lotion. And I have this much left which is obviously going to take me another month because this is a very potent thick cream. And I use it on my feet uh, and legs mostly because my legs and feet are very dry. And I get like this itchy skin. So I prefer using products that are... Uh, not greasy like thick oily greasy this is very good will highly recommend you guys to check this out i will definitely repurchase it very good product i think there are not too many body lotions in india that have ahas i think suganda has one uh, this one has and i think uh, chemist at play also has a body lotion that has lactic acid so using a product with lactic acid is always a good idea especially if you have dry mature skin and also if you have like pigmentation or you have marks or spots on your skin this is like a product that has uh, multiple benefits. This is a really good product. I will highly recommend you guys to check this out. I am also going to repurchase it. Next, I have this Murumuru Butter uh, Conditioner from Requil. Uh, again, a very good product. Very good for dry hair. Uh, used it up. It took me some time to go through it. But it's not a huge, like it's just 150 ml. So, I went through it pretty quickly. I have very dry hair. So, every time I wash my hair, I make sure to... Uh, put a nice conditioner and just leave it on for a good 3 to 5 minutes in my hair before washing it off. Otherwise, my hair becomes really frizzy. I really, really, really liked it. It's a very, very good conditioner. It is a thicker conditioner which will work very well if you have dry, frizzy hair. Uh, conditioner from the Love Planet and not is also nice. Like Love Beauty and Planet is also nice. But uh, the conditioner of that particular uh, range is a slightly lighter in texture so if you have dry hair you might look for something that has a very thicker te thick texture and uh, deeply nourishing kind of texture so for that this requil one is very good i will definitely repurchase it 
Next, I have finished up Shiro Le Pam hair mask from Just Hers. I really liked it. The best part is that this is a pre-shampoo mask. So, you can just apply it on your dry hair, leave it on for good half an hour and then wash it off. Just like you do with a, with a hair oil. And it is actually really good for your scalp as well. So, this is a hair and scalp treatment mask. I personally really liked it. You can see, I have just cleaned it up and uh, very good product. It is not deeply conditioning but it is very nice if you want to use it on, on a weekly basis. Right now I am using this hair mask from Just Drop. This is their newly launched product. This is their castor and black onion seed hair mask. This is also very good. I have used that twice so far. I uh, will keep you guys posted on my views once I am done with it. Next I have this Marula oil facial moisturizer from Minimalist. This is the facial moisturizer that saved my skin during winters. I used to apply it whenever my skin used to feel really dry. This has marula oil. So this always has a, like a, a greasy, uh, not greasy, like an oil based moisturizer. This is, this is meant for dry skin and this is for deep management and hydration. It has vitamin F, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and 0.5% marula oil i really like this composition very very good if you have dry mature skin and uh, i will definitely repurchase it during winters this is this was kind of inexpensive i don't remember it's not mentioned okay it is mentioned this is for 299 i bought it from amazon on some discount as well so this is a very good product very inexpensive uh, if you have dry skin you can definitely use it it, it doesn't have any actives so you can use it after your actives like your uh, ahas and all very good product. I will definitely buy it uh, during next winters. Right now, I'm using the rice and ceramide cream from Face Shop because it is very light in texture. Next, I have a twisted tube of Pixi Milky Hydrating Lotion. This is like an okayish product. Uh, it is not very thick uh, and also it is not very hydrating. It has like a gel kind of a texture. It is good if you have oily skin. But it is not that great if you have very dry skin like me. It just doesn't stay on, on my skin. If I apply it on my hands, I'll have to reapply something on my arms after a few hours because my arms and like this elbow area become dry very, very quickly. That's why I'm just sticking to the Dermexa cream from Aveeno. But this is a good product if you have like combination to oily skin and do not mind reapplication. This is a good product. I'm not going to repurchase it. Next I have this Cetaphil cleanser. I have already shown this to you guys in my Nykaa haul. I have already repurchased it. I use it to wash my hands because my hands become very very dry. Uh, during winters they were so dry the cuticles were like white and they were peeling. So I switched to this one. I saw one of the dermatologists recommending uh, this thing uh, to wash hands during winters and it just worked brilliantly for me. This and a good Vaseline. Both worked really well for my lips and hands. Uh, so I have already repurchased it. I will always repurchase it because this has been working brilliantly. If you have dry hands and if you are if you struggle with constantly dry, constant dryness on your hands, like on your palms or the back of your hand, then this product is going to work really well because it doesn't lather or foam. It's like a gel cleanser. You can use it for your face as well. I just don't use it on my face because it doesn't lather and I have this thing that I want my uh, face washes to lather a bit. So I don't use it on my face but you can use it on your face as well. This is like for your face and body. So if you have like eczema prone skin, if you have itchy skin, very dry skin, you can use it on your face and body very very comfortably. So I've already repurchased it. I will highly recommend. Next I have this punch push face mist from Forest Essentials. I had a smaller bottle of it initially, then I bought a full size bottle. I really, 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 really love it. And I will definitely repurchase it once I am through with uh, this. I am using the Wish Care Rose Mist. This is 100% pure and natural rose mist, like steam distilled rose water. Uh, this is like a fat 200 ml bottle. I am not even done with half of it, like I have only finished one fourth of it. Uh, so I will finish it and then I will buy it because this year I have decided to finish whatever I have stocked up and then buy more. Uh, only in some cases like in this case I do not have any such product stocked up so I have to repurchase. This I will repurchase only when I am done with the mist that I already have. Uh, but I really really, really like it. It smells so good and so refreshing. Uh, it obviously smells like flowers but not in a headache inducing way. Very, 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 very nice fragrance. Then here is the Ceramide Cream from Minimalist which is what I used uh, on my face in the last two months and 
very very good product very 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 good and gentle non irritating product for your face you can use it after your acne because it just contains uh, ceramide it is a better repair cream this is perfect for dry skin it it is not thick or greasy so unlike marula oil face cream this is uh, this can be used by anyone uh, if you are using actives and you are looking for a product that can strengthen the barrier and soothe and calm down your skin this is a very good product it was it is priced at rupees 599 you are getting 30 grams so you can always grab any of these products on some discount or other but i will highly recommend you guys to check this out i will definitely repurchase it once i am done with my rice and ceramide i don't know i have two tubs of the face shop rice and ceramide cream and i think this entire summer I will be able to. I mean, I will be using that only, like those two products only. Then I have an after bath oil from Forest Essentials. This is their Indian Rose Absolute. This is what I use during winters after bath every day, and this is really good product. It smells really nice. Very, 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 very calming, very soothing, thick body oil. You use it after you your shower is done, and it keeps the skin very nice and moisturized. Even though my skin doesn't stay moisturized, no matter how much oil I put on it, but it's a very good product. If your skin is not very extremely desert dry, this is going to work brilliantly. I already have another variant from it in my bath area. I think the jasmine one I have, and I will definitely repurchase it next winter because I am fan of the rose fragrance from Forest Essential. I finished another face mist. This is from Kama. This is their pure rose water. It took me a long time to finish this huge bottle of 200 ml. I always have one or the other mists in my uh, in my skincare uh, stash because I always like to mist my face in between steps. So, for example, once I have my toner on, then I will mist my face and put my moisturizer or hyaluronic acid. Similarly, if I have applied a facial oil, I like to mist my face in the end so that facial oil can. Get absorbed into the skin and doesn't really sit on the top of it, so that's the reason why I go through face mist pretty quickly. Uh, the Kama one is very good; it is a pure rose water, but I think you can get a cheaper pure rose water like steam distilled rose water from other brands. The one I'm using from Wishcare is much cheaper than Kama, and it is also 100% pure rose uh, steam distilled rose water. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'm not going to repurchase the Kama rose water. Next, I have this Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O uh, Micellar Water. I use this during winters when I did not want to wash my face in the night. I just used it to clean the surface of my skin and then go ahead with the rest of my skincare routine. I personally really enjoy Bioderma's uh, Micellar Water. They are very gentle, very gentle, especially if you have eyes that are very sensitive and get irritated very quickly. Very, very good. I already have um, another one of it. In my skincare stash right now, because most of the times when I use cleansing oil, uh, it just gets into my eyes and my eyes become kind of uh, dry. So I prefer using Bioderma. I don't use the cleansing oil extensively, extensively or rigorously around my eyes. Uh, I just take uh, Bioderma's uh, Sensi Bio like micellar water in the end and just wipe my eyes like eyelashes clean. Once I'm done with everything like my cleansing and my face wash, I just use it as a third step if I still have eyebrow, eyebrow, eye makeup on. Simple like the like today I have kajal on my eyelashes, like on my upper eyelashes. This is iconic kajal and it's going to take me some time to uh, remove. Uh, so today I'm going to use the micellar water for sure. Then I have the organic argan oil from Milva. That bottle looks busted. Uh, used it up. It's a very nice uh, product if you are you have dry hair. Argan oil you can always use on your face, but for me, argan oil just clogs my pores. I do not use it on my face. On my hair, I use it on my lens to finish it up. It is very thick, so I right now I'm not into very thick hair oils. I right now I'm using the Java Kusum hair oil from Just Herbs, which I absolutely love. It is it is not. Take it as a very lightweight hair oil. So this is nice if you want to do treatment kind of stuff once in a week. You can mix it with other hair oils that do not have argan oil, and it will just increase its like moisturization properties. The hair oils, and you can buy it in this like a good organic argan oil if you want to. I'm not going to repurchase it because I just finished it after so much efforts. To be honest. Next, I have a very good product from a brand called Olium Cottage. This is an indie brand, and this is a moisture replenishing skin tonic. Uh, my skin was feeling very dry till last month, and 
this worked brilliantly especially in the night and i also sprayed it during the day it has aloe vera and it has like patchouli essential oil it has witch hazel sandalwood hydrosol so this was all in all a very very good hydrating very nice face mist i really really liked it uh, this was sent to me by the pr but i'm definitely going to repurchase it again once i'm done with the face mist that i own currently right now the weather is a bit better here in delhi uh, it rained today really really heavily so i think for the coming few weeks the weather is going to be not too dry here it will have some humidity which is not good but it is good for your skin so i'm not going to repurchase it right now but i'm definitely going to repurchase it once the weather becomes colder i have pure squalene oil from suganda you can use it on your face and you can tell by the packaging this is obviously an old bottle i used it on my hair uh, on my daughter's hair when she had long hair i have not now cut them short to her shoulder but when she had longer hair after wash i used to apply few drops of this on her lens and it kind of tamed tamed her hair she the hair looked manageable throughout the day you can use squalene on your face as well it is very very good if your skin is very dry So I used it up. I'm not going to repurchase it because right now her hair is short, and I don't really want to have too many products lying around. So I'm not going to repurchase it. Otherwise, it's a good product. Next, I have Sika and Ceramide Overnight uh, Serum from Dr. Shed. Very very good product. This might be my third bottle, and this is not a PR sample. I bought it myself. I personally really like their serum, Sika and Ceramide Serum. So if you do not want to use a cream and you want a thinner like gel texture you know a cream might still have a thicker texture but a serum has a thinner texture it penetrates deeper so this is going to work really well it can be used by anybody by any skin type and it is a very good product it is going to calm down your skin it is going to repair your skin it will be going to strengthen the barrier and i think this can also be used with uh, your actives because it has ceramide complex squalene uh, centella asiatica hemp oil and marula oil very good product will highly recommend you guys just wait for sale a uh, doctor shed generally run a uh, buy one get one or buy one get half on the second product like they always have some or the other sale going on so you can give this a shot i also have a discount code i'll mention it in the description box i uh, like it's not a promotion i'm just giving you the discount code it's not an affiliate code i'm not going to earn anything so if you are interested in picking this up just check it out uh this product is nice i personally really really like it i want to tell you this is my third bottle i'm not going to repurchase it now because i have too many ceramide products in my skin care routine now and my skin is doing much better than how it was doing earlier uh so i'm not going to repurchase it but i will definitely repurchase it whenever my skin freaks out then i have a requil p protein and ceramide hair mask uh this is a post and pre i mean you can use it both like a uh, a post and a pre shower hair mask uh, this is a nice product but i do not think that it, this was a life changing hair mask it price price it to be 695 i bought it from requil's website i finished it up i have also cleaned the tub because the gunky tubs look ugly this product is nice but i am not going to repurchase it because it did not make a huge difference in my like hair texture or condition uh, the shirolepum from just hub is just the same and for some reason i was expecting a lot from this requil hair mask because requil products are generally very good but i did not enjoy it it just did nothing for my hair so i am not going to repurchase it then i have a gel face wash from bioderma i really loved it it was a pr sample used it up i am not going to repurchase it right now because i am using one from cosarex and i already have two more face washes in my backup so i'm done with face washes for the next 6 months but this is a very nice face wash if you have like this is going to work for all skin type this is very gentle and soothing micellar water based uh, gel face wash uh, i have got that gel face washes are particularly good for combination oily skin so if you have combination oily skin give this a shot it was not very expensive the price is not mentioned because it was a pr sample but i personally enjoy bioderma's product they are very good quality they are recommended by dermatologists the product is good looking for good uh, face wash then you should give this a shot then i have a bulgarian rose water from uh, juicy chemistry used it up same uh, feedback really liked it 100% organic face mist i really enjoyed using it not going to buy it because i have face mist to finish but if you are looking for good organic products juicy chemistry is the brand you should look out for another face mist from brillair this is age revival face toner really liked it not going to repurchase 
because I am finishing the ones I have. Then this is a product I really enjoyed. It was a surprisingly good product. It is L'Occitane Immortelle Divine Cream. Really good, very nice texture, perfect for winters if your skin is dry or aging. I'm definitely buying a bigger size um, in the coming winters, not now because this is kind of an oil based product. So this is a perfect product to finish your skincare routine with. Uh, it makes your skin really nice and moisturized and plumped. The fragrance is so good. Such a beautiful, luxurious product. I, I This is my first L'Occitane skincare product and I really enjoyed it to the fullest. You can see the tub is empty and it smells so good. And this lasted me a really long time. I think I used it. It took me at least two and a half, three months to finish this tub. This is an expensive product. I think this was priced at rupees 3,000 or 4,000 rupees. I might purchase it um, in the next winter because I really liked it. I really like the first essential Sonaria face cream which I have talked about in my couple of previous videos. So that cream and this cream have kind of same texture. This is not exactly a night cream but I use it as a night cream because this has a uh, oilier uh, formulation. But the product is very very good if you are looking for a very nice moisturizer for night time. This has to be the one. It is not thick but it is very nourishing. Next, I have uh, finished up the collagen peptide serum from um, Olay. Now, this was a PR sample. I finished it up because, you know, peptides are very good if your skin is aging. Peptides, retinol and uh, vitamin C, these are the three serums that you should use if your skin is like aging. Right now, I finished it up but I am not going to repurchase it because I am eyeing the minimalist multi-peptide serum. I might buy that. Uh, this is a good product, you can use it, it is not cause any irritation, very nice, soothing, gentle product, can be used with your actives. Uh, so this is a nice product if you are looking for nice peptide based serum, but I am not going to buy it, of course, because I have already told you I am going to buy minimalist uh, multi-peptide serum. Used of the luxury sugar, sugar? sugar soap from ice, from forest essential, wow. Used of the ice, pomegranate and Kerala lime uh, sugar soap from... Uh, first essential, I've just kept this leaf like this box uh, just to remember that I have finished up a, a soap from first essentials. Okay, here is the pump of the body lotion. It broke, I think, in the, in the bag. So, yeah, this is a nice body wash. I'm right now using uh, the cleansing oil from Bioderma as my body wash. So, I'm not using any soap or body washes from other brands because my skin was very irritated. And that cleansing oil is working like magic on me, so I'm going to keep using it. Then I have a empty bottle of hyaluronic acid from L'Oreal. Uh, I already have a bigger bottle. Here is the bigger bottle. This is the finished one. So, of course, I have already repurchased it. I really like to use hyaluronic acid. And right now, the weather is humid, so this hyaluronic acid are going to work even better. Because when the weather is dry, they can make your skin even more dry. Finished up the minimalist hyaluronic acid. Very very good product. It was even more hydrating than the L'Oreal ones. Uh, but the formula here is slightly thicker and stickier. But this is a very 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 good product. So I already have a L'Oreal one. I'm finishing it up and then I'll buy this one. Uh, this was price rupees 5.99. Minimalist products are generally very very good. Right now I'm using the retinol. Uh, this is the retinol I'm using 0.3%. This is a squalene based retinol which is really good if you have dry skin, drier sensitive skin. Very very good product. I am actually seeing results. My skin looks much more radiant and clearer. Right now I am not wearing any makeup and it is still looking very nice. So the retinol is working. It's charm. Very good product. Finished up two makeup removers. Makeup removers? Nail polish removers. This is from Specta. Very good non-drying. Very very good make nail polish remover. And this is from Muji. Not Muji. Mini soap. Finished up two nail polish removers. Uh, this is from Specta. Very very good non-drying. A uh, really good nail polish remover. Spectra is an Indian brand. It's a small Indian brand. And this is from Miniso. This this is also nice. These were like nail polish remover pads. Very convenient to use. But you get a lot. Very small little quantity. And I get 30 pads. So it just lasts you 30 uses. And this lasts you much much more longer than that. So I'm not going to repurchase this. I already have purchased Color Bars nail polish remover. Which I showed you in my last haul. And I have two bottles which are going to last me a really long time. So I am just going to keep using them. Next I have a plant based retinol cream from Just Herbs. Used it up. Really good product. Gel based moisturizer. Used it up in the night. I really liked it. And um, 
I don't have anything uh, else to say about it. I think it can be used during the day as well, but I used it up in the night because during the daytime I generally use my Ceramide Bake Moisturizer. And this is a very good product if you are not into retinols, you are looking for bio retinols, give this a shot. This has a bakuchi oil. And I personally really enjoyed the texture. It also has licorice extracts, which means it's going to uh, lighten up the blemishes, uneven skin tone and all. Very good product. I am not going to repurchase it because I am right now using their vitamin C moisturizer and I have a lot of other moisturizers in my stash. I am just trying to finish what I have already uh, accumulated. I will finish them up and then move on to next products. Next time I finished up the Laneige Glow Lip Glow Balm and this is in the shade Berry Fruit Rouge. And this doesn't really come across as a tinted lip balm on your lips it just looks like a clear lip balm but this is so much better than your the pot ones i don't know what's better here i think the application mechanism or whatever but this worked beautifully i bought it last year when i had covid in may and my lips were so dry they were peeling this is the only lip balm that saved my lips and that is the reason why i really love it it's expensive for daytime i have tinted lip balms um, I am using the Mama Arts Rose Lip Balm at this moment because it has a very nice, very light tint. So it works brilliantly for me. I'm not going to repurchase it because I already have so many lip balms in my stash. So I'm not going to buy any more lip balm. Another tinted lip balm from Mama Arts I finished up. This is the Vitamin C one. And I like the color. Finished up completely. There is nothing left here. And... Uh, the color was very nice. It was like a very light coral color. It smells nice, very convenient to use. And I really like to use tinted lip balms during the day. So yes, I like Mama Arts lip balm. These are my repurchase. I've already repurchased one, the, the one I showed you. And I'm always going to repurchase them because I like the tint and I like uh, they are nicely moisturizing and uh, good product in, in overall. Then YBB sent me few products. Uh, they sent me their Rose Lip Sal, which is the newest product of YBP. I really like it. As you can see, I've been using it. I use it during the day along with my Mama's Lip Balm. It just depends on my mood. I really like it as well. This is a very nice product. And along with that, they also sent me the sample size of Hydrating Chia Cream. I hope they launch the full size of it because the product is really, really, really good. It is chia seed based day moisturizer, used it up. It's a perfect lightweight hydrating moisturizer for daytime. I really like the YBP's product and I'm hoping, wishing that they launch a full size of this product because the moment they launch it, I'm going to pick it. This is that good. On to my last two products, the Lacme Primer Plus Matte Foundation Compact finished up. This is my second uh, compact from the same brand. Like This is my second time emptying this pan now i did not empty it entirely there was a little bit left but i dropped it on the floor and it broke but i finished up to the point there was a huge pan showing from the center of it so i really like it this is in the shade honeydew i really like the formula it is so good uh, it gives you coverage the color is nice it just doesn't make my skin dry or crusty i really like to dust it on my I really like to dust it on my face when I'm going out. Just a little bit of concealer, this compact and my face looks really nice and polished. Really lovely. I might repurchase it. Not now, but maybe in future. Uh, I already have, I think, four or five compacts with me right now. Unfortunately, not all the shades uh, work for me. So I might declutter them in my next video. Last product is the 20% Vitamin C L Ascorbic Acid Serum from Dot & Key. I kind of... Uh, used it up but it i don't know if i have a little bit left i don't have any any of it left the bottle feels just still feels quite heavy uh and you can see there is so much like a salt crusty stuff gathered around the neck this was a nice product ls ascorbic acid based serums are very hard to find in indian market i think only few brands have like a pulp brand has this fixed derma has vitamin c with LS ascorbic acid and then uh, dot and key. Uh, it came in like there were two separate uh, tubs, not tubs, jars. This is a glass jar. There was a plastic jar that had powder vitamin C and this one had syrup. So I was supposed to uh, pour like put the entire vitamin C powder in here, shake it up and make my own LL, LS Corbic acid vitamin C serum at home. Used it for a month then it turned kind of yellow. I used it upon my elbows and knees. 
uh, I might not repurchase it because I have already purchased fixed dermas, vitamin C serum that also has L ascorbic acid. I will use it and then I'll do like I'll compare them in my mind and think which one is good for any reinvesting. But right now I'm uh, using one from Dr. Shed. Right now I'm using this my trusted and tried vitamin C serum from Dr. Shed. This is Amla vitamin C serum. This has 20% vitamin C. It has vitamin E, sodium hyaluronate, ferulic acid and amla extracts. I really really like it. But this has ethyl ascorbic acid as your, your vitamin C. And here you have L ascorbic acid which is much more potent but quite unstable. So yeah, this finishes my empties like the Thala is empty now and there were a lot of empties i think there were more than 25 empties in today's video i just keep on pushing empties video i don't film them on time that's why the the pile keep keeps getting bigger and bigger so i will try to do it every other month next month onwards so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'm trying i try and list the products in the description box there are a lot of products but I will still try my best to list all the products in the description box. And if you are new here, do not forget to hit subscribe button. If you like this video and this was a lot of work. And I am tired now and I am also hungry. So do not forget to like this video. Leave a comment if you have tried anything. If you have finished anything that I have showed you in today's video. Uh, yeah, so that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I will see you very very soon in my next video. Till then take care and bye.